With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Carl Anthony Towns from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select D'Angelo Russell from the Ohio State University. With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Jalil Okafor from Duke University. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Latvia. With the fifth pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Mario Hezonja from Dubrovnik, Croatia. With the sixth pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Willie Cauley-Stein from the University of Kentucky. With the seventh pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Emmanuel Moudier. With the 12th pick in the 2015 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select the 19-year-old point guard from Georgetown University. We met working at the post office together. Mark uh, was a clerk and I was a carrier. And uh, I asked her out to lunch one time and take her for a bagel around the corner from where we worked. A bagel? A bagel, yeah. A cream cheese? Cream cheese. Split down the middle? Split down the middle. Love at first sight. Yeah. I believe that it was true. It happened to me. Let's do this, young man. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, that's a good show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frequency Vibrations. Yeah. Welcome aboard, young man. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <sighs> this is bananas. Take your time, baby. Thanks, Ma. OK, so I first want to thank everyone who made this possible. Mom, Dad, I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> I like to thank my lady, Yvette. My dude, Vic. Hey, yo, I got you, man. <laughs> hey, all of them in the building all day, man. All right. Yeah, I love you, man. I love yeah. you, Uptown. Uptown. Hey, he, he's like my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. And also, want to thank my sister, Cece, who was also my manager. <laughs> uh, Swish, love you. <laughs> I love you more. And my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti himself. You're the man, baby. <laughs> I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? A lot of people don't know this, but Freak is short for my very first nickname, Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> yeah, true story. I'd like to introduce our mother so she could tell it. Go ahead, mama. Tell mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> oh, good, oh, mama. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Frequency and Cece are fraternal twins. And so when I was pregnant, one of them kept kicking and jumping around all the time. So my husband, Pete, put headphones on my belly and played reggae music. Hence the name Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to Freak. How did you know who was kicking? A mother knows. A mother always knows. Are you ready for a photo op? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next NBA superstar, Frequency Vibrations. Yes! Go ahead, son. Thank you all for coming. We will be available for one-on-ones in the back. Good job. Well done. Congratulations, well done. sir.
All right, all right, all right. You all know why we're here and what we came to do this year. This is only the beginning of a very long season, but game one means just as much as game 82. Now, we have some new faces here that I really expect to make an impact for us this season. We've already seen flashes of what they can do for us, but I expect all of you to go out there and execute just like we did in camp. Ain't no more excuses. It's time to get serious. If we play our brand of basketball, there's no telling where this team can go. So get out there, get warm, and let's go win this game. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my player. And as you can see, I got drafted 12th overall to the Utah Jazz. And I'm not even really that worried about what team I got drafted to. I'm just happy that, you know, I got drafted in the lottery and I'm finally in the NBA. So just looking at the team that we have right now, you know, the Utah Jazz, we have some pretty talented point guards. You know, we have Dante Exum and we have Trey Burks. So obviously I have to play at a very high level just to stand out and hopefully get some time. So without any further ado, let's finally get started my NBA career. First game, obviously I'm not starting. I'm coming off the bench. <laughs> so let's get it, let's go. Ooh, going off against Reggie Jackson. All right, all right. Some slight competition. It's nothing new though, I'm a rookie. I ain't got no worries. What's he gonna do to me? What's Reggie Jackson gonna do? <laughs> you locking up? Yeah. What you doing, Reggie Jackson? What you doing? Throw it inside. Uh oh, that's my rebound. We pushing the break. Got a pass. And oh, almost get my first assist, but he misses the layup right there. Back on defense, and we get the steal. All right, bring it back out. Oh, yeah, I'm open. Cash out. Uh, that's good. First bucket in the NBA. And it's a good feeling, man. Finally breaking the seal and showing I can score. And there's another layup right there. That makes it 20-20. Right, on the fast break. I got my man, man. Move, move. <laughs> When you do it on the road like and he shoots it. It's off. I get the rebound. Second of the night. Let's see what we can get. Can we get an assist too? All right, to bring it back out. Let's get a pick. Uh huh. I see the pop. And it's good. That's my first assist of the night. So far, so good. I mean. Nothing real crazy. Reggie Jackson is a very good point guard, but it's, he's not like, you know, a Russell Westbrook or a Stephen Curry. So I guess you could call this an easy night. That's another dime right there. And that's how you got to do it, man. As a point guard, you got to spread the ball, look for your teammates, and make things happen. Uh-oh. That's another assist. Count them up. Count them up. Let's go. All right, all right, 10 seconds in the first quarter. Playing good D. That's all, I got a rebound. Can we make a last play of the game? And that's good. That gives me four assists, no turnovers, and three rebounds in the first quarter. I think I'm off to a pretty good start. Then they don't sell me back in until the second, late in the second quarter, and I come in. Oh, thought I had the trade, but it rattles in and out. They're on the break. Give me that. Oh, give me that rebound. Okay, we're pushing the break. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh, pull up for it. That's two mid-range jumper. So I got 7.6 rebounds and four assists right now. And it's only the end of the first half right here. Use that pick. Uh-oh. Let's see what we can get. Oh, he falls down. Oh, I get fouled. That's a good take right there. I missed the first and hit the second free throw. Nah, we're not letting him get off anything right here. And, ooh, he almost made it, but it's off. 
So at halftime, it's 4, 54 to 41. Pistons are up right now. And honestly, I think, I mean, I'm not just being cocky. I think it's large part because I got taken out of the game so early and didn't get back until late. So right back, right back where I left off. I hit a jumper right there off the curl. And as you can see, I don't play until the fourth quarter. I know this is my first game, but the way I was playing in the first half, I was on pace to get a triple-double in my first game. Uh-oh, I'm outside. That's another three. Count them up. You know what I mean? It's, it's garbage time right now, so I'm just basically trying to get all the buckets I can, show the coach what I can do. He leaves me open, and that's my first dunk. Many more to come, for sure, of the game. And that, there you have it. My first NBA game comes down. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. More Money is signing out. Johnson will take it from here. We'll see you next time.